Okay, we are going to take a look at drawing um, and using comparisons of, of one thing to another to figure out how big something should be. So I'm just gonna start by putting this line in the back here where I think I want that horizon line to go. I'm gonna start with this particular item now I'm going to I'm going to try to determine how large this is based on a comparison to just like the base. So if my base is this big, you'll see I'm putting the point here. I'm seeing how big it is. I'm going to compare that to the actual candlestick and I've got one and just a little over one and a half, not quite two, right? One All right, so I'm gonna start by trying to figure out, or put in, not figure out, but put in where I want this candlestick to go. I'm just kind of putting in where I think it might wanna go. All right, so if I have one, quite two. It's going to be really close to the very top there. Uh, next thing, this is symmetrical. So I am actually going to draw a line down the middle. I'm just going to use a ruler as a straight edge. You can use anything. You could use another sheet of paper or something like that. And just say, all right, I'm going to go straight down the middle. Because then what I can do is to make sure that things are proportional is I can measure and say, all right, I have that much on that side. So I need to go a little bit wider over here. Okay, so I'm gonna go that far. This side has to be the same. Using a little bit of basic shapes as well. Okay. And I can see here, if I were to pull a line straight down, the base is wider than this top. So if I pull a line straight down, this base has to be wider than that. Again, so I can get it proportional, I measure. Okay, so then we have the candlestick that's going up the sides, and you can see here the candlestick is a little bit in that way from where the side of the base is, right? So the candlestick's thinner. So when I come over to here, I know that my candlestick has to be in slightly. Hopefully it's the same size. If it's not, I'm just gonna measure it. It's pretty good. a little bit wide yet but I can always go back and change it. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the point in. All right. Okay so the next thing I might go to is the vase. So I can measure, again, let's compare it to the base here. So I've got one, two. So this vase is about double the, the height of this uh, candlestick base. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna measure over. I'm gonna put a spot right where I want the bottom to be. I can see that it lines up right about there on that base. So I'm gonna go and measure this guy. I'm gonna go one. And I can even push down, make a little spot so we know that that's where one is. And here's two, right about here. 
okay? And we can see that that touches into the candlestick. Up there. Okay. Other comparisons we can make. Um, the width of this to the width of this, right? We can compare. Oh, the top looks like it's the same as the width of the bottom. So come over here. Here's my width measure. So that is where the upper rim of this vase will be. And remember, you can use some basic shapes. Oh, that's got to go in a little farther, I think. Can I compare it to anything else? Oh, that looks pretty good there, doesn't it? So we're going to come over here. This is about the same as this. So now we know this part of the vase comes out farther than the top, right? Just a little bit. Again, we probably want to know where the center of this vase is. Looks to be about right there. So it's a good idea to have that line of symmetry. It starts to curve right there. Now I'm going to compare. Where's the curve at? The curve starts here. Where is that in comparison to something else on this vase? So it's inside of that. So the curve if I were to go like that, well, it's pretty close. So the curve has to be right about there. And then this, in comparison to there, so I can go about right, right there. So it's almost like creating this little grid. like what we used before, but it's just, it's non-traditional. So from there, then I could measure if I needed to. And then that's gonna go behind there. So I see a little bit of that probably through there. Looks like I'm a little off center with my line here. So this is how one would do some measuring. All right, uh, we'll just throw in these last eggs here. So when I'm looking at this, what can I compare it to, right? If I bring this over, it's okay to draw on your printouts, right? So I'm looking over here, it's about right here. So we're looking at the top of the eggs in this section. The back side of this egg is on the inside of this vase. So on the inside of the vase here, somewhere in here. Okay, 
see how wide this is. A little bit smaller than that. Looks pretty close to this one. So I'm gonna go up based off of this, come down here, make a mark. So I know that this egg needs to be oh, in the bottom of it. It's about even with this guy. So this egg needs to be in this area. And then this next one, how much sticks out here? About one and a half. Let's see. This is one and a half of that. The bottom of this one sits back just a little bit, so it's a little higher up. about where that goes. So this is one way that you can figure out where things go is to line things up with other things on the page. Um, if you have something symmetrical, make sure you add a line of symmetry and then you can measure the sides to make sure that they are the same. Um, and so we're gonna let you give that a try.